Hi, I'm Randy Osborne, District Fish Biologist with Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. Today, I'm out here at Lake Spokane, or Long Lake, near the town of Tum Tum. Joining me today is Chris Moan, Fisheries Habitat Biologist with Avista, and we'd like to talk about some fisheries work that we're conducting here on Lake Spokane. Now, WDFW and Avista both are committed to ongoing work that promotes a healthy aquatic environment here in Lake Spokane, including removing some species that are considered deleterious to native and non-native game fish that are valued by many Washington residents. The first species I'd like to talk about is carp. In recent years, the proliferation of carp has fishery managers concerned for a variety of reasons. So I'll turn this over to Chris so that he can discuss some of the issues we're seeing with carp here in Lake Spokane. Avista and WDFW identified the reduction of carp as a means to improve water quality in Lake Spokane. Carp exhibit behaviors that result in the suspension of sediment into the water column, which can lead to increased growth of aquatic plants, which in turn impacts oxygen levels in the lake and impacts our native fish species. Avista has partnered with WDFW since 2016 to remove carp. This year, we are excited to expand our sampling and we hope to see you out on the water. In addition to common carp, another growing concern for fishery managers is the present and expansion of the northern pike population here in Lake Spokane. Now, northern pike are an apex predator, they're highly invasive, and can cause large-scale changes in fish communities. They have a voracious appetite and can consume fish over half their body length. Pike have caused many problems when introduced outside of their native range including here in eastern Washington. So much so that in 2011, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Commission reclassified pike from being a game fish to a level three prohibited species, and then to the highest level threat, a level one prohibited species just last year. So in essence, WDFW considers northern pike a problem and not an opportunity. Although pike have been present in Lake Spokane for many years, recent surveys suggest their population is expanding, which could spell big trouble for the existing fisheries in the future. And this is why we're taking proactive measures this year to remove northern pike from Lake Spokane. Despite recent regulation changes elsewhere, WDFW values and manages fish populations like bass, panfish, walleye, and trout here in Lake Spokane. Because of this, WDFW are taking steps such as pike and carp removal to protect these species for the good of the anglers. It's important for people to understand that these types of removal efforts never result in the eradication of a species. In large reservoirs such as Lake Spokane, we can't turn back the clock on new fish introductions and the best we can do is reduce numbers of fish that negatively affect existing fisheries. With this in mind, pass along the word that illegal fish introduction can have irreversible effects on ecosystem function and limits our ability to provide sustainable recreational fishing opportunities. Lake Spokane is a special place, home to a diversity of species that are highly prized by Washington anglers. Let's both do our part to keep it that way.